Greetings, Sekiro Goru here, and here are all the locations of all ten prosthetic arm tools. We start with the loaded shuriken, which uses one spirit emblem per shot. You can find it in the Ashina outskirts next to a corpse inside a broken wall. From the outskirts wall gate path idle, simply grapple hook across to a wall and pick it up inside. Next is the Shinobi Firecracker, which is particularly useful against animals to scur them and stun them. It uses two spirit emblems per use, and you can buy it from any of the merchants in the game. The closest one at the start can be found near the Shuriken, so follow this path to the merchant and buy it for 500 coin. Next up is the Flame Vent. It costs three spirit emblems per use, but deals a lot of damage to those you unleash it on. It's found in the Harada Estate, which you can get to by using the Young Lord's Bell Charm that you get from Inosuke Nogum's mother. Use the charm of the Buddha in the dilapidated temple. Once in the Harada Estate from the Estate Path Idol, follow the roof around so you get to a group of enemies by a fire. The item is hidden inside the fire itself. Try not to burn your ninja hands as you pick it up. Next is the Loaded Axe. Best used against shielded enemies as it breaks their shields in one attack. It uses up two spirit emblems per use. You can find it close to the flame vent. So starting from there, head forwards and turn left at the end. You can find it inside the hut which has a few enemies guarding it outside. Next up is the Mist Raven which allows you to avoid attacks by turning invisible for a second. If you press a direction at the same time, you will teleport away from the enemy in that direction. It costs two spirit emblems each time you use it, and you can find it in the Harada Estate also. From the Bamboo Thicket Slope Idol, follow the path until you come to a dead end. Double jump up the wall and turn left at the top to find the item inside a hut. The next tool is the Loaded Spear, which only uses one Spirit Emblem each time you use it. It's good for keeping enemies at a distance thanks to its long reach, but it also has an added pull feature if you press and hold the right trigger again once it hits the target. To find it, first you need the Gatehouse Key, which is on the enemy guarding the bridge near the Ashina Castle Idol. Once you have the key, follow this path to get to the Gatehouse. It's in the starting area of the game, the Ashina Reservoir. Next is the Sabimaru, which is a fast attacking blade that you can use six times in succession. The attacks also inflict the poison status. You can find it inside the Ashina Castle. From the upper tower antechamber idol, head into the next room and drop down to the very bottom. The chest that contains it is through the door. Just beware of the several enemies down here. Use your ninja skills I've taught you to pwn them. Next up is the Loaded Umbrella. It protects you from all directions when deployed, and you can move slowly with it also. It costs one Spirit Emblem to use, and it can also be used to deflect attacks easier than with your sword. You can find it close to the Sabi Maru, so from here head outside and drop down into the hole through the roof where you can talk to a merchant that sells the item you need to make it. The next tool is the Divine Abduction, which creates a gust of wind, turning your opponent in the opposite direction, leaving them open to a death blow. It costs three spirit emblems per use, such as its power. You can find it in the Sunken Valley. From the Gunfort Idol, head a short way into the Long Arm Centipede Giraffe Boss Room. Once you've killed the boss, you can pick the item up in front of the statue. The final one is the Finger Whistle, which is very useful for those who prefer the stealth approach. It'll use up three spirit emblems per use, 
and you can find it in the sunken valley. From the body set for Valley Idol, head down and face the boss. Once beaten, you will get the item you need for the tool. There it is, all ten prosthetic arms. Use them combined with your ninja abilities to pwn the enemies of the game. And thank me later. Subscribe for more tips and secrets, and click the link in the description or at the end of the video to watch a Rage Adept playthrough by my failed disciple, Frothgar the Dragonborn Hero. You're gonna get killed by a chicken this time, John Ninja? You fucking bitch! Dark Souls man wouldn't get killed by a chicken! What the fuck? How many more chickens are in here? It's like Zelda! Don't be a fucking piss of chicken up and they all come get you. What am I getting for killing these chickens? 